According to the National Health Survey for England, on average, adults in the UK walk approximately 2,900 steps per day. This falls significantly below the recommended daily goal of 10,000 steps. As someone who spends a lot of time sitting down due to my work and other commitments, I wanted to find a way to incorporate more movement into my daily routine. And that's why, for the next 7 days, I am challenging myself to walk 10,000 steps a day. Join me as I embark on this challenge. I hope this motivates you to introduce a little movement into your life. She said she really grew up poor like me. Don't believe in nothing but the Almighty. Just a licky jeans and a pure white tea. She never did for ever be nobody wifey. While I'm not a pretty boy, your heart is a mess. Playing like a villain cause you're caught in a wave. Tonight I am, I am walking away. Nine to five. Should we do a mini haul? Are you interested in that or not? I just got a Red Bull because I'm not going to be craving the taste of late. Not even the energy, more like the taste, which is weird, but I really like how Red Bull tastes. Um, some fruits for some recipes that I want to try. This is the best chip pink wine I've had. Kumbacha. I tried kumbacha the first time I came to the UK and I really like it. It's not too much for me. I don't really like soft drinks but having something that is nice tasting but not too sweet low in calories as well because this is just six calories nine calories i always get egg whites i always get egg whites just because it's a very nifty way to get more protein and less fat like literally this has 10 grams of protein for 100 grams of egg whites and zero fat zero carbs so it's a win-win i've been craving this kind of bars recently so when i go to the gym after my workout i'll just have one of this so it's something to look forward to every time you go for a workout banana is the way to get to stay away from sugar because it's a natural sugar i think it has fructose if i'm not mistaken when I have porridge and I don't want sugar, I put banana and it's so sweet. But it has to be right. This one's not right. I got chocolate. I got dark chocolate because I've been craving something extra sweet. So I'm thinking that if I make oat or I make pancakes, I could put like chocolate shavings on them and it could give it like a real kick. To find mine on the ground, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tonight I might fall in love. Depending on how you hold me I'm glad that I'm calming down Can't let no one come control me Keep dancing and call it love She fighting but falling slowly If ever you are in doubt Remember what mama told me I began this challenge with a commitment to prioritize my health and my well-being One aspect of my health I was particularly interested in was my cardiovascular endurance. There are a lot of studies on the benefits of walking on cardiovascular health. One such study from the American Heart Association says that regular walking can lower heart diseases, improve circulation, reduce blood pressure, and also contribute to better weight management and overall cardiovascular health. My cardiovascular fitness is very low at the moment and I'm taking up exercises like this to help improve that. Hey you! It's day two of the challenge, of my challenge. To be honest, you know I don't know how I did yesterday. Let's check. I can check from my watch. Can I? I should be able to check from my watch. Let me check from my phone and get back to you. Can you imagine how disappointing it would have felt if I checked just now and I was like 100 steps short of 10k? So what happened yesterday? Yesterday I went for a 45 minute walk during my break and 
technically like generally depending on how fast you walk you can walk 10k steps in two hours thereabouts so my 45 minutes got me to about 5k and then i rode my bike to the gym and in the gym walking around doing your exercises jumping around that got me to about 8k thereabouts and obviously i'm now like 3k shy of 10k which is my goal so instead of riding my back back my bike back home i just walked home and that got me to 10k steps so we were able to do 10k steps yesterday it wasn't difficult if i'm being honest because i didn't do everything at once i broke it down into sections which was my aim i'm not trying to do 10k steps at once i just want to bring more movement into my daily life however i think it is very time consuming especially if you have like a job and you have other things that you want to prioritize so i think that's why people get like the walking desk because it's better but yeah today is day two i am on i think 89 steps today i'm going to go for a walk again during my break but i just came to check in um i'm starting my day i'm going to be sat i have a meeting to get into so that's it guys I'm going, I'm taking a walk to the pharmacy because this is my nose is embarrassing me. I'm always sniffing <gasps> like I can't breathe. So I want to see if I can get like a rinse aid or something for my nose. I can't believe that I walked all that way and they tell me that they are closed due to flooding. What flooding? It's been so hot in this bloody country and you're telling me that just because it rained once yesterday and there was no thunder, there was no lightning, you're close due to flooding. Make it make sense. By day three of this challenge, I was already sore in my calves and wondering what other benefits walking 10k steps a day had aside from improving cardiovascular endurance so i did some research one research study which objectively assessed physical activity sedentary time and metabolic risk showed that individuals who achieved 10k steps a day had a lower level of metabolic risk factors including waist circumference blood pressure and glucose level Hi guys, today is day 3 and it's already 1.17pm, I haven't done my walk, I'm having such a slow, slow but very busy day today so I think I might go for my walk after walk so I don't know how I'm going to do that but that's kind of the plan, just made my first meal of the day I'm feeling very very slow i'm feeling very foggy very groggy very listless like i don't feel like doing anything like left to me i'll be in bed but i'm committing to this and this is from my other challenges i've done this is like supposed to be pretty easy but let me tell you guys yesterday i was busy at work so i couldn't go for my walk during my lunch break right and so it all got crammed up to the end of the day and let me tell you if you walk 10,000 steps at once you will legit feel it in your calves you would want to die you will be exhausted it's like a proper proper workout because your whole body feels it you're out of breath as well so i completely understand how this is very good for your endurance but i don't I'm not trying to do everything I was so I'm definitely going to go for a 30 for 5 minutes walk after work and then come back home have something to eat and then go to the gym later and walk back to so the routine that I planned previously is what I'm going to adapt today a few moments later hi guys so this is just me checking in um I have 1,000 steps 
that shows you how sedentary I've been throughout today. I think we spend so much time sitting, laying, inactive, especially when you have like a dex job and you don't actually know how much time you're spending or not moving your body until you actually try to track it. So I'm going to walk to my gym and walk back home. And I'm going to take a very slow pace walking because I don't want to use up all my energy before I get to the gym. And, you know, like, I'm hoping that my steps come up when I do that. But yeah, I just wanted to check in. So let's, let's go to the gym. Let's walk. Another study which wanted to study the relationship between aerobic exercises and visceral fat reduction found that walking 10k steps a day or engaging in aerobic exercises was effective in reducing visceral fat which is also often times associated with increased risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes or cardiovascular diseases it's almost 12 pm or 12 am i haven't gotten my 10k steps yet i'm at 8 8.5k and I'm going to just walk around the living room and watch something to get my 10k steps. On day 4 of this challenge, something interesting happened. I realized that I had forgotten to wear my fitness watch for the most part of the morning, so I couldn't track most of my steps. It got me thinking about the age-old question by the philosopher George Berkeley. If a tree falls in the forest and no one hears it, does it make a sound? And it made me wonder, if I walk 10k steps but don't record it, did I really walk 10k steps? The answer, in my opinion, is a resounding yes. The act of walking itself happened, regardless of whether it was meticulously tracked or not. It had a positive impact on my health and my well-being, which, to be honest, is the whole point of this challenge. However, not having the recorded evidence can sometimes bring a bit of uncertainty or make it difficult to prove the accomplishment. So based off on the steps that I did manage to record, I took about 7k steps that day, falling short of my 10k goal. It was a gentle reminder of the importance of keeping track and staying consistent to reach my target. So even though I didn't quite meet my goal on this particular day, I still acknowledge the value of the steps that I took and the effort I put into staying active. Every step counts. Whether it's documented or not, and it's a reminder that the journey towards better health is filled with ups and downs. I won't talk my mind the five of this challenge has to be my best day by far. From waking up, I already knew I was going to reach my 10k goal because I was going to be having a very active day at the beach. But I didn't know that I was going to exceed that goal by an extra pocket and not even feel it and it just showed that infusing fun and excitement into any challenge any fitness activity whatsoever makes it more than a goal it makes it a more enjoyable part of your day and that's exactly what happened to me on this day I haven't done anything. I've been in bed all day. I've done laundry, just been watching Love Island and doing my laundry. So I actually need to go for a walk and my 10k walk is going to be about two hours today. That's not going to be easy. <laughs> like literally, like my step count right now is like in the 300. That's how 73 I've been. So it's not going to be easy to do 10k at a goal, but I'm committed to 
completing this challenge so i'm going to go and do it get it on with get it over with get it done it's been really hot my fan has been going on non-stop it's been so hot so i just have on these shorts underneath and i need to pre prevent my ties rubbing together and then i just have this like breezy shorts here and i have this really nice simple sports bra that i got from shein and this um tank top that i got from gymshark so i'm just going to go for a walk nice and breezy <laughs> For 40 minutes now and I think I want to take a break and sit for a bit because I'm getting a little tired, a little exhausted. I think I want to drink some water, chill for about two to three minutes and then start again. I think the biggest part of this challenge is the fact that you spend a lot of time walking. Walking 10k steps at a go is about two hours thereabout and if you don't really have anything else you are doing within that time it feels like a waste of time so one way I spend my time while I am walking is to listen to something listen to a podcast an ebook even worship songs like if you're Christian or you're spiritual this could be you could go out for walks early in the morning and it could be a time of worship while you're listening to while you're taking your walk and you could really crack on and get like 5k steps out of the way while you're doing your worship. So that really helps because when you're sedentary, when you're sitting down, when you're stationary, you find yourself being more visual. You want to watch something, you want to get entertained by something you can see. But when you're walking, that's your time to get entertained by something you can, you know, you can hear. You don't have to like necessarily use your eyes to to absorb what you're listening to you just listen to it and it's not just entertainment you could also build knowledge you know so yeah that's just how i spend my time while i am walking hi guys so today is the final day of this challenge and i am really excited just because it's really sunny outside i'm ready to get some vitamin d so i'm going to take a little short walk to the post office and then i may or may not go to the supermarket to get some things but i want to keep my walk on the 45 minutes 30 45 minutes little short walk so let's let's go let's come let's complete this challenge let's conclude this challenge. let's go guys